Hey y'all, just thought I'd do fuck, a surgery update. Um, so I guess let's backtrack a little. I had my intake, which I made a video about a while ago, and uh, my insurance didn't cover that. So I'm on the hook for $450 for a 15 minute phone call. So that's about $30 a minute if you're doing the math. Um, anyway, so I've been waiting to schedule consults with all the surgeons. I got my letters in, that's all set. I've been waiting to schedule consults with all the surgeons because um, that's just the next step of the process. Once you have all the consults, then you can schedule surgery. I got a call from Satrulo's office last week and she said, oh, like your insurance is not, is not coming up right. Like you're gonna have to call your PCP and ask them for a prior authorization or referral um, since you're out of network. And um, you know, once we have that, then we can schedule your consult. I'm like, okay. So I call my PCP and I say like, hey, I need the prior auth. Here's the number, blah, 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 blah all the information. I got a call from them today saying that my insurance has to deny the referral because um, because I'm uh, he's out of network. So um, and my, I can't remember the conversation because as soon as he said they denied my referral, like I blacked out a little bit. So um, it's like an uphill battle from here to get them to cover it because I have to prove to them that he's the only surgeon that does the procedure I want, abdominal phalloplasty, um, and why they should accept the referral versus me going to someone in network who doesn't do this procedure. Um, and it's just so fucking frustrating because now I have to like educate my PCP on why they should fight for me to help me get this approved at the same time as like fighting with my insurance about it. Like, why is there so much fucking red tape over trans lives? Like, I can't just say, this is the surgery I want. This is the surgeon I want to go to. Why does it have to be in network, out of network? I don't even understand that. Like, and all they're seeing is, is he in or out of network? Oh, well, he's in the network, yes. He's out of the network, no. That's it. It's a yes or no black and white issue. When it's not a black and white issue. If there's no other surgeon who does this procedure, why, why would I not go to somebody in network? If I could, why would I just start going out of now? It doesn't make sense. It all comes down to some random ass person who sits there and goes yes or no to my fucking thing when they don't know anything about trans lives. They don't know anything about the surgery. They don't know anything about anything. They're just saying yes or no. And now I have to fucking go through all this shit to try and make it work out. Like, I don't have enough things going on. Another thing I have to do is, like, worry about fighting with my insurance about this. It's just so frustrating. You know, it's just like... And I don't know my PCP that well. I just switched to this PCP because I didn't have one. So I don't really have a good relationship where I feel like... I just feel, like, uncomfortable being like, help me... Because I don't want to talk to them about my bottom surgery. I don't want to talk to them about that. I just want them to help me get the referral. But I feel like I have to educate them on all the different kinds and why I don't want that and why I want this and why you gotta do it. You know, it's just like, feels like a fucking lot of work and I'm just so disappointed. You know, like, I just, I just hate it. I hate, hate it. I'm so frustrated and I want to cry about it, but I can't cause I'm just like in mad mode. And I'm just trying to, like, figure out how I can get it sorted out as soon as possible because, like, I know in my first video I said that they told, they said that wait time from, like, consult to surgery was, like, two years. But a lot of guys in this Facebook group of men are like, yeah, like, I just had my consults and, like, I can schedule my surgery within the next three to six months. So it's like, I can get this figured out and I can get my consults and shit, like, by the summer. I could potentially do it this year. And I was, like, getting that thought in my mind and feeling so, like, excited about it. And now it's like, fuck, I'm hitting this roadblock with insurance. So it's like, <sighs> what the fuck? So, I love, I love it. Fucking love it. I'm just trying to like, <laughs> ah, why? Why is there so many hoops that I have to jump through just to be? So fucking frustrating. 
Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on the process. I didn't really want to make you videos about fucking insurance arguments, but apparently that's what I have to do. I, why am I surprised that I didn't, I fucking had to pay for my top surgery out of pocket, so. I don't get anything easily. So. Send up a prayer, a good wish, or something, so that this gets sorted out quickly, easily, because otherwise, I just feel like I feel so defeated right now, so. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Hope you guys are having a better week than me, and um, talk to you next time. Say bye, Ruben. He's got his bully stick.